Now all the way from Los Angeles, California, in the good old US of A, the singer, songwriter, and performer, Joy Villa. Hi everyone, I'm recording artist and conservative activist Joy Villa. I really wanted to be with you all today. They're in the heart of the British government. Not just because of what's going on with Tommy Robinson, but because of what's going on with Brexit too. You know, Brexit was such a great inspiration to so many Americans. In 2016, we watched you, our brothers and sisters, fight to take your country back. A couple of years later, we're watching democracy fail under Theresa May. We're watching free speech fall under Theresa May. We're watching as your government tries to take away your birthright. I guess we have some similarities in that regard. In 1776, a proud gaggle of patriots in the colonies across the Atlantic suffered the same injustices. From Thomas Jefferson to George Washington to Paul Revere and those who inspired them. Those were men and women across the continent as we knew it then, who screamed with one voice, enough is enough. It's time for you to do the same. Benjamin Franklin, who lived in a house just a few hundred yards from where you're standing now on Craven Street near Sharing Cross, once said, we must indeed all hang together or most assuredly we shall all hang separately. I want you to remember that when the times get tough because tough times are truly ahead. With an expansionist European Union, a new migrant crisis looming, and an assault on your civil liberties at hand, you must all hang together. We must all hang together. We have an amazing president in the United States today, doing things we didn't even dare to dream of before June 2016 until Nigel Farage's words echoed around the world. Dare to dream that the dawn is breaking on an independent United Kingdom. A few days ago, Boris Johnson warned the country and the world that the dream was dying under Theresa May. And not just the Brexit dream that's dying under your fake conservative government. It's the dream of Britain in general. A country long regarded as having the mother of parliaments, the Magna Carta, and basic human dignity at its core. That's all at immediate risk. I don't mean it's at risk in five years or 10 years. I mean, it's at immediate risk right now. And you brave men and women are on the front line of freedom your freedom fighters looking to secure your rights. You fought for and died for by generations before you. So let them call you all the names they want. Let them threaten your livelihoods. Let them throw their toys out of their collective prams. It makes no difference. I hope the reason you're all on Whitehall today is because you're in this fight for the long haul. I hope you stand with the great patriots in front of you through thick and thin. I hope you donate to the causes they risk their lives for. I hope you do as we in America do and scream with one voice that we do not go down without a fight. I hope you do as Tommy Robinson did and stand up for your country and your fellow citizens. 
You know, we watch in horror sometimes at what's going on in the UK. With Sadiq Khan, with terrorism, with the state of your public services, it serves as a warning for us. But I wish it didn't have to. I can't think of a country with real freedom, a real free press, and a real rule of law that would think a man with a Facebook live stream could influence a judge's sentencing decision. A decision about a rape gang, no less. What was the judge admitting about his own biases when he held Tommy in contempt? What was he saying about the reliability of the British judicial system? But don't take my word for it. Even your own law commission has explained the problems with contempt of court for reporting in the UK. In other words, everyone knows this law is unjust and unwieldy. But because it's Tommy, they don't care. Well, I care. And you care. We care. This isn't just about Tommy Robinson. This is about the state of freedom in the country that birthed mine. That's why this American cares. Because when our children and grandchildren point to a map and ask, where are the most free countries in the world? I don't want to have only the United States to point to. I want Britain to be free. I want France to be free. I want Ireland and Germany and Hungary, Italy, Africa, Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East to be free. We, our side, want freedom for the whole world. Our opponents only want freedom when it's convenient for them. So in closing, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna salute you for what you're saying, for what you're doing, for what you're fighting for. Let's free Tommy Robinson. Let's bring Tommy home. Thank you very much. I'm Joy Villa. Um, I got goosebumps during that. I want us to thank Joy Villa for sending that message to us. But also, ladies and gentlemen, I want us now to honor some people who are sitting here to your right-hand side of the stage. Some veterans of the British military who have served for our country, who have fought for our country, who friends and family members have died for our country, who are with us today. We salute you, gentlemen. Thank you so much. From the bottom of all of our hearts, thank you. Thank you. It's my great pleasure now, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce to you another of our great international guests who's come from a country